Hey guys, it's AJ and it's Sunday. I'm sorry for such a late video this week, but I have been so busy like the last 10 days. I saw Cade a week, a little bit over a week ago and we went down to San Diego and saw Just Mary B. And then last week was just so busy doing nothing, but just so busy that I couldn't make a video. And then Saturday, yesterday, when I said I would make a video, I went to Lilith Fair, which was really fun and crazy. And then today I wanted to make a video earlier for you, but I forgot the Spain game was on. Yes, Spain. So now I'm making a video on pansexuality where everything has already been talked about. So this week we've been asked to define what pansexuality means to us and um, basically give our definition. So all the other beavers have done that. Now it's my turn. So for me, pansexuality just basically to me in front of from what I've taken from it, because I wasn't too familiar on what it was until we got the emails from you guys. So I had to go online like pansexuality. What is it? And basically what I got from it is it's more like love all, serve all type of thing. Like the saying from the Hard Rock Cafe, you know, you're just all encompassing you love the person you don't love their sex like you don't see ftm you don't see male or female straight or gay or bi you just love the person um for whatever sex that they are basically you see no gender and that is awesome i mean and i am all for that because that is just all encompassing all loving like you just love the person and i wish i could be pansexual but me i am a 100 percent woman woman loving lesbian but i guess um i don't want to sound ignorant like i don't know what i'm talking about but in another hand i don't really know much about pansexuality and like Lori said in her video you guys could come forward and maybe educate us and let us know like well maybe you're wrong here aj this is what pansexuality is to me and explain to me more on what it means to you i would totally appreciate that because you know, a lot of times you guys come to us for questions. Well, now I'm coming at you and letting you know, like, you know what? I don't know much about pansexuality. And if you would like to enlighten me and let me know whether or not I'm wrong on my definition on how I see it. Like, you see no gender. You just love the person. Because that's basically what I'm taking from it. Because it's like you love all, pan, all inclusive. I would like to know that. Because I don't like being wrong. And also I don't like sounding like I don't know what I'm talking about. So that's why this is going to be short video because I'm not 100% sure and I don't want to offend and say the wrong things when I'm not intending to blah 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 and you know it's Sunday and we should just all get along on Sunday right because the real L word comes on in a couple hours and y'all know I'm looking forward to watching that but um yeah that's basically my definition of it and you know it's 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 another label and I was talking to my friend about this and you know, I was like, what do you think about pansexuality? And she's like, you know, if somebody said to me that they were pansexual, I wouldn't even question what it was because I don't even know the meaning of that. So do you think that people say they're pansexual? And I'm just saying this not to cause a fight, maybe to cause a discussion that people will say they're pansexual to avoid saying that they're gay or bi. Do you think? I don't know. I'm just asking you. Anyway, so that's something you can discuss. I'm not saying that they can use it as a scapegoat. I'm just wondering... What my friend had said do you think that people do that hmm. i ask you for answers i will see you guys wednesday so have a good weekend yay spain see ya